Rise and shine. Good morning. Welcome to the Violet Realm. My name's Amy and I'm one half of the Violet Realm. I'm the mom half. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Uh, today I'm doing a general reading for October 17th. Uh, this is a timeless reading, however, so whenever you find it, it's meant for you. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. We do offer private readings. All that information and our social media is on the in the description box below. So let's get going for the energy of today. How are you guys doing? I hope you slept well and uh, I hope you're feeling good this morning. All right, let's get one more. Okay, we want to do two more. Okay, we want this one and we want this one. Okay, we want this one. Oh, right. Okay, so big energy today. That's a lot of cards. I usually don't pull that many, but I was led to do so, so we're going to do that. All right, we have Three of Swords, Lord of Sorrow. We have the Queen of Throne, Queen of the Thrones of Flame. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Four of Cups. We have Material Trouble, um, which is the Five of Pentacles. The Last Judgment, and the Queen of Cups. So we have two queens here. And we have the Knight of Cups, and we have the, we have lots of cups, lots of cups. All right. Okay. So um, the Lord of Sorrow, the Lord of Material Troubles. So uh, you may be trying to work out an issue where you feel like um, there's a lot of sadness here, and you're trying to figure out how to overcome this block. It could be money. It could be health. It could be um, being uh, separated from someone you love. It could be a fight with a loved one. Um, but there's something that is extremely troubling and you're not quite sure how you're going to get through this. You're not quite sure how you're going to work it out. And uh, you may be repeating uh, thoughts over in your head and they may be negative thoughts. And those feed themselves. So when you when you ponder too long on negativity, they grow. These thoughts grow. The energy grows, and it feeds itself. It's a self feeding monster. A lot of this anxiety and fear is fear that there won't be enough, fear that you won't be able to um, to make it better, to make this sorrow better, to make this uh, sadness better. Uh, there's an unknown here with this card that may make you uncomfortable. and um, But sometimes this kind of energy, well, I have found this kind of energy, there's usually um, a need for change, a need for balance. Um, we have the Libra here. Uh, a need to balance out the uh, the sorrow and the fear and, and get into this energy of being... Um, of being happy. I'm feeling like a, a peaceful calm of happiness coming through with all these cups here. Lots of cups. Um, and we have the last judgment. All right. So you're trying to figure this out. You're trying to figure it out. Some, you or another person is trying to figure out how to make this work, how to overcome this. This feels like an obstacle here. How to overcome this obstacle today. How do we work through this? What are we going to do? How am I going to get where I need to be? And um, Spirit wants you to know with this card that there is um, energy coming forward to help you with this judgment card. Um, there's good karma coming forward to help you with this situation. Uh, it will be resolved, but you have to have some faith in the process of resolving it. And the process of resolving it may, may not feel great. And uh, you may have to um, really um, have a lot of compassion for yourself and um, understand that you can't control everything, all right? And I'm feeling the winds of change here. I haven't pulled that card, but I'm feeling it here. I'm feeling um, there's change coming through for you. And I think you know it. I think you had peaks of this change. And uh, the Knight of Cups, for me, um, Lord of the Waves and Waters, I'm feeling this as an opportunity coming forward to help you with the situation. 
Um, we have the Four of Cups here, uh, Lord of Blended Pleasure. And I'm feeling that uh, this opportunity is going to bring you a lot of happiness. It's going to bring you a lot of joy. It's going to fix this material trouble. It's going to fix this sorrow. It, it's going to help you find a way out of it, a way towards these beautiful cups of uh, happiness, joy, abundance. They're overflowing. They're filling each other. And see how one cup fills the others. It, it just overflows here. And um, it looks like there's, uh, it almost, okay, these, these little rocks remind me of a riverbed. So I'm seeing a riverbed, like a flow of life is coming towards you. And um, this opportunity uh, may cause you to ponder. You may actually still be in this energy as this opportunity, person, place, or thing presents itself to help calm the situation. And it, it may make you go a little deeper into the fear. But just know that happiness, the Lord of blended pleasure here, that there's happiness and joy coming forward for you. And um, it's time to trust. Then we have the Queen of Wands here and the Queen of Cups. So th this to me is about um, thinking creatively in this uh, problematic situation you might be feeling. Thinking creatively and being open to new ideas and being open to your heart source. So um, I'm feeling some, let's pull this up. I use this a lot. This is um, adventuring and uh, it's very healing for your heart chakra. I've used it for my heart chakra. And I'm feeling like this, this connection here, this new way of seeing things is healing your heart chakra. This whole situation seems to be presented to help you uh, heal your heart chakra and your root as they're connected to know that you're going to be okay. It's all going to be okay and to have faith. So the it's all going to be okay has to do with your root chakra. So you might want to work on your root chakra. Uh, it, root chakra is about survival. It's about feeling okay in the world. And um, from our root up through our heart, I'm hearing uh, it's how we build faith, right? So, so far, so good. I say that a lot. Uh, to friends and stuff so far so good because uh, sometimes we really just have to trust absolutely have faith in the process and take those steps towards where we want to go and listen to guidance and be willing to uh, reflect on ourselves and how we are in the world and see ways we can heal our connections with others and with self and uh Overthinking the situation uh, won't bring you peace. Uh, it'll bring more sorrow. So there, it's time to release it. Have courage. I keep this often when I'm reading. Uh, uh, this for me, I've had this for a long time, and it's about having courage to be who you are, to make brave decisions, and to never give up. And um, it's also a source of comfort. Uh, there's strength here with this trinket here and I have used it a lot and I I think spirit is just wanting you to know that it really is all going to be okay and have courage be strong uh it's okay to be afraid it's not okay to be immobile in your fear okay to let it overcome you because they want to bring in good things for you but um there's some things you need to release let's flip that back over and let's let's get a couple more cards this seems like a really intense day of reflection there may be some arguments here uh there may be a loss that causes this anxiety of how am i going to fix this how am i going to overcome this i need this i need this uh and uh, spirit wants you to know that good things are coming be patient with yourself and um no, there's an opportunity presenting. It's going to be presented. And they want you to be ready for it. So it's time to kind of calm and balance out this nervous, fearful energy. Okay. Sustenance. So uh, Ganesh is saying there's something that you're blocking that feeds you. Okay. And, and I, don't, I don't mean food necessarily. There's something that feeds you your positivity and instead of feeding positivity you're feeding the negativity so you're blocked you're you're feeding you may be feeding the wrong element here and they want you to change your energy they want you to um, move into more of this blended pleasure and 
you know, you don't have to be ha 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 joyful, but uh, it's good to, to take a step back from your thought processes and get into something else, getting it, get into some kind of, uh, I don't want, I'm hearing the word mindless, but I, I don't want to really use that term, but something that helps you escape from these thoughts, movies, whatever it is, get out of that energy of just rehashing it, making, li I'm, I'm hearing people are making lists, they're trying to figure it out, they're thinking about their money, they're thinking about their relationships, they're thinking about their job, they're overwhelmed, and we have the election, we have everything that's going on in the world, and it's really time to go to that, it's simple, there's something very simple that you can do to change your energy. It could be to uh, listen to music, play a video game, whatever it is, but get these thoughts, get this sorrow and sadness, balance it out with some things you enjoy. Even if you start doing it and it's really not that fun for you, just keep doing it. Keep that. Keep doing that thing that brings you um, peace and light. And it may be something you used to do that brought you a lot of peace and light. And they really need you to, to shift into that energy and lighten. I'm hearing lighten up a little bit, lighten up a little bit. It's going to be okay. Things have been okay this far. They're going to be okay uh, on the other side of this as well. So just have faith, have faith in yourself, have faith, faith in your process today. All right, that's what I'm getting for today. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And I hope you have a beautiful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.